Here's a new report. This is on the Owens River and Hot Creek, and this is from Fred Rowe of Sierra Bright Dot. Hello, this is Fred Rowe from Sierra Bright Dot Fly Fishing Guide Service. I've been teaching, guiding, writing, and lecturing on fly fishing since 1982. Well, let's get to this week's fly fishing report. Well, up Owens River. Cutthroats are everywhere, but a lot of them are beat up because they've been spawning. Well, we still fishing them in the deeper pools and runs, and we're using the bigger flies, size 12, stoner nymphs, green gold prince nymphs, and hares ears. So be careful where you're fishing them. We like to fish them in the deep pools and runs because that's where the fish are resting and feeding and not fishing where the fish are actually spawning because that's the future of our fisheries because that's the new fish that are coming up and gonna be the future fish we get to catch. Okay, over to Hot Creek. Hot Creek, fishing kind of tough. There's little to no hatch on the creek. Both the interpretive site and down in the canyon, same problem. Canyon's got a little more fishing pressure. This is fishing a little bit easier because we're nipping down there underneath indicators or more like what I've been doing is fishing our flies because the indicators are spooking trout. And what am I using for the indicator fly? Well, we're using Chernobyl lands, Adam's parachutes, and that's what I like to fish down there. And for the nymphs, we're using midges, and then we're using uh, beadhead flashback, pheasant tails, and caddis nymphs. Okay, over to Crawley Lake. Midge fishing is just starting out. The flotilla of boats are in McGee Bay and up at Christmas Bay and sometimes Bay. And they're using gray, black, and blood midges on the bottom, anywhere from three inches to 18 inches off the bottom. The midge hatch, it's just starting and the fish starting to go. They're catching rainbows, browns, and cutthroats. Okay, let's head down to the Owens Valley and let's go to the lower Owens River. It's still fishing good. There's blue wing olives, there's PMDs, and there's these little yellow stones hatching. But they're not hatching enough to get the fish up to the first surface, so we're getting really good dry fly action. So we're still nymphing in there under an indicator. We're using beadhead flashback pheasant tail nymphs, we're using caddis nymphs, and we're using the stoner nymph. Okay, let's go over to Bishop Creek Canal behind the Ford Dealer. And that place is just getting pounded. But we're still getting a fair number of fish under the indicator nymphing in there because even though there's a few fish hatching in the morning, I haven't been getting up quite early enough to catch that morning hatch. But if you do, man, it's good with a size 20 bluing olive. So again, I'm using pheasant tail nymphs, beadhead flashback version, and I'm using gold ribbed hair series in there. And that's this week's fly fishing report brought to you by Fred Rowe from Sierra Bright Talk. I can be found on Instagram and Facebook or on my webpage at sierrabrightdot.com. And that, of course, was Fred Rowe. He's the owner of Sierra Bright Dot, a fantastic guide up in the Eastern Sierra. If you want to be put in touch with him, just reach out and we'll put you in contact. And we'll see you right here next time on The Backpack.